Hey you guys, it's me Spongebob number one fan 2003 here and as you can see her with all these awesome Spongebob toys and these are actually from the past of the West Burger King kids meal from 2008 and we actually got the full set this weekend and I think that is so awesome well except I got him on Monday along with the McDonald's Spongebob and that cute little cereal Spongebob and apparently he didn't come with a stand but I sometimes share his stand with um like Sometimes I, I like share other characters' stands just so this little guy right here doesn't feel out feel left out. <laughs> and um Yeah, some of these I actually got on Friday. And the rest of them I actually just got yesterday on Saturday. So I think that's awesome. And um Yeah, and I'm actually keeping about three of like the the packages that some of these guys right here came in. Like yeah, you can tell that I'm actually keeping about three of their baggies. Like, there's one, two, and three of their baggies here that I'm keeping. So, I mean, they're so cool. So, yeah, really quickly before I show you all the toys, I'm going to be showing you guys the packages for them first. So, here is this one right here. I'm just going to show you one, since they're all basically the exact same thing. But, yeah, as you can see, it's like this nice clear baggie with... This cool like a brown label on the front so that looks kind of old here and it has the pest of the west logo and it has like some warnings and stuff and there's a picture of picos patrick and spongebuck right here so yep and there's the burger king logo right there too and inside each bag besides the toy you get three little items which is this really cute little booklet here it like shows you all the toys that you can get which we actually got the full set, but I'm still going to show it to you anyway. So you can see that you can attach your figure to the base. And there's a little game right here. You like pick a number, like you turn the thing to like get a number. And yeah, if like, oh my gosh, if the other person like has a higher number than you, then, then they win. Okay. And then here are all the other toys here that you can get. There's Saddle Up Squarepants, Patrick the Sidekick Star. Squidward the Squeeze Tentacles, Spongebob Flipster Squarepants, um, Spongebob Lone Star, Dead Eye Plankton, The Masked Sponge, and Sandy Sure Shot Cheeks. And here is the back of it. It just has a weird skull right there in 2007 and 2008 Burger King. Alright, and then here is this little, I guess, um, like, thing right here for, like, a Nick magazine. Oh my gosh, is that the B movie? I remember seeing that movie when I was a kid. But, but yeah, you like ship it to like get a free magazine or something, which I think is kind of cool. And then the last thing that comes in the baggie is this really cool advertisement for the Pest of the West DVD. And believe it or not, we actually do have the Pest of the West DVD. It's right here. <laughs> See, we have Pest of the West on DVD. How awesome is that? Yay! And um, we also have the Pest of the West book as well. Okay. So let me just put these off to the side so I can show you guys all of the toys. I'll put those back in the bag later. Alright, so firstly, we have this... Um, we have the masked sponge, and to be honest, I think he looks kind of weird here. Oops. Okay. So, yeah, to be honest, the masked sponge looks so weird. Um, like, I don't know, his face just kind of freaks me out a little bit, but, like, I don't know, he's still kind of cool, though. So, as you can see, he has this completely black outfit on, and he has a red bandana around his mouth and nose. And, um... Yeah, I asked my mom, why does he have that on? And then she said, because it's a bandit. Because he's a bandit. And you can put his arms up here, and he kind of, like, does this really cool thing with his eyes. Because, like, yeah, he's, like, trying to see through his fingers or whatever. Which I think is hilarious. And, um, yeah, here's the back side of him really quick. There's a little horseshoe right there. And he was made in 2008 for Burger King. You can literally see the Burger King logo right there. And now he's just in a completely black outfit with a red bandana around his mouth and nose. Yeah. And then here's this little tiny stand right here. It's just this nice green stand. 
as you can see and it has like these little grass bits and these little rocks and there are two little pegs because each character has has like two little holes on their feet which you can barely even see his but but um but yeah it's that way because it's just so they can stand on this base and there is a little wheel here so you can do this and you can play the little game so there's numbers one to ten in here so you can see that so yeah that's pretty much all for the masked sponge and then here is hop along tentacles or squidward the squeeze tentacles whatever and yeah i actually found out that his name is hop along tentacles i looked him up on the spongebob wiki before i started filming this video and yeah, Hop Along Tentacles is actually quite cool. I don't even know why, but this sticker right here is peeling off. I hate that so much. But yeah, um, here's Hop Along Tentacles. As you can see, he has on a white shirt. He has a really, really cool mustache. And he's playing the accordion, I'm pretty sure. And the sticker here is peeling off, which is really ticking me off. Alright, just push it back on there. There we go. And yeah, he has a little hole right here. That way he can stand on his base. But yeah, that's Hop Along Tentacles. But yeah, that's that's SpongeBob because abandoned. That's um, Squidward's relative called Hop Along Tentacles. And here's Hop Along's stand. Basically, the exact same thing as um, Bandit SpongeBob's. But yeah, but Squidward's here is brown, or Hop Along Tentacles is brown. And yep, the exact same gimmick. But yeah, just different colors. And here is dead eye plankton so he has on this this big huge black hat he has a little mustache here and he's giving this really really evil looking smile and he has a little whip in his hand right here but of course it's not like a real whip it's just like this little shoelace right here it's actually kind of soft and nice feeling kind of feels almost like a shoelace so yeah, um, it won't really hurt you if you accidentally whip with it, but yeah. So yeah, it won't hurt at all, because this is just a little shoelace as a whip. And yeah, um, that I plankton has a little red thing right here. And yeah, the bottom of him, there are two little holes, that way he can stand on, stand on his little base. And, and here's the back, he's pretty much just all plain on the back side. And his little stand is just red right here with a little, um, sheriff badge right there. And there's a little area for him to stand. And it has the exact same thing right here with the little, um, number game. And then here is Sandy's relative right here. Or Sandy sure shot cheeks. Um, I'm not, I'm not really too sure, um... What Sandy's relative's name was, but I'm just gonna call her Sandy's relative. And yeah, here's the back side of her. I really, really love her outfit. It's this really nice pink and purplish cowgirl outfit with this really, really cool orange cowgirl hat. And yeah, she's holding like a little target with an acorn on it. I'm, I wonder why she doesn't have a helmet. That's okay though, she actually looks really, really super pretty. And then here is her little stand right here. It's not like this nice dark tealy color. Has the exact same number game right here. Okay. And then here is Pico's Patrick. So yep, he has he his like pouty lips right here. He's like acting all silly. It's like a little blowing kiss thingy, like Mwah! or something. Then he has on this really cool brown jacket, and you can see his underpants right there, his underwear. And he, and his pants are literally falling down since Dead Eye Plankton always steals Patrick's pants or Pico's Patrick's pants. And he has on this really, really cool hat here, and his arms can actually move. As you can kind of see, his arms can move. And here's the back of him. He looks very, very cool. I love Pico's Patrick. And then here is his little stand right here. It's like this nice yellow stand with some scallops and some stars. The exact same little number game right here. As you can see. 1 to 10. <laughs> and then here is the sponge book that I showed you guys yesterday. 
So, um, yeah, I'm not really going to describe too much about him, but he has on a talent gallon hat, he has a long green jacket, a little piece of straw in his mouth, since it's a two-in piece of straw, and he has an orange shirt, blue jeans, cool belt with a gold scallop, and a little sheriff badge. Okay. And then here is one of my all-time favorite sponge bucks in the collection. So, yeah, this is actually the sponge buck with a little hat. You can put it into his hand. So you can see that sponge buck right there. But I'll show him to you guys later. Um, but, yeah, this sponge buck right here, he has on a red long sleeve t-shirt with some cool brown gloves. He doesn't have on a sheriff badge, though, but he has, like, a little lasso in his hands. And he has on some light blue jeans. With these really cool brown boots that completely match his gloves here. And he has a really cool look on his face. He's like, yeah. And here is the back of him. Focus. 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 There we go. Sort of. But, yeah. Okay. And here is his little hat right here. So it's just this nice kind of tannish hat. You can just put it right into his little hand because I don't know if you can even see here but there's like a little area in his hand for you to put the hat and I think that's really cool because obviously it's Spongebuck he can hold his hat okay I can't even get it in there with just one hand but yeah okay I'll show him to you guys right now but yeah there he is right there with the hat in his hand yeah he's super glued in place so he won't come off boop 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 boop, boop, boop. So he's like super glued on there. The the seller who had these toys before me, they like literally super glued the, these four to my into the into their um stands and stuff. But yeah, there's Pico's Patrick, Dead Eye Plankton, and Sandy's relative. <laughs> and yeah, that this is probably one of my favorite sponge bugs in the collection. He's so neat. If I love his little hat. And his little stand right here looks like grass right here. It's like little grass. And, yep, there's little pegs right here. You can see that he has holes in his feet. Oh, he can stand on the base completely good. But, yep, it has the exact same game, the numbers, which I love that. It's so cool. And, last but not least, is this sponge buck. And this is actually sort of, I guess, the fry cook sponge buck. You can see that he has some spatulas in his hands. And he has this really cool chef hat on his head. And he has an apron on with his bow tie and his little collar right there. And there's some, like, stains on it with mustard and stuff. And he has his cool striped shirt on. And he has some darker looking jeans. And he has on these really cool black boots as well. And here's the back side of him. And yeah, I really, really love this Spongebuck right here. He's pretty much the only angry-looking Spongebuck there is in the collection. I love this one right here. He's so awesome. But yep, this is my favorite Spongebuck in the collection, besides the one with the chef hat. I, not the chef hat, I mean the, the cowboy hat. I love the one with the cowboy hat. It's just so neat to me. But yeah, the, the one with the chef hat, though, was also my favorite. So these two right here are my all-time favorite ones, along with that one right there, too. And oh yeah, here's the chef Spongebuck stand. It looks like a bunch of cool rocks right here. It's basically like concrete. And, of course, it's a little game. The cool number game. Okay. And... Yep, so that's actually pretty much all for the SpongeBob Pest of the West Burger King Kids Meal Toys from 2008. I really, really super duper love these toys. And, yep, my favorite ones are probably... Um, Sandy's relative, and this Spongebuck, this Spongebuck, and this Spongebuck. I love the three Spongebucks and the one Sandy. I love those four. And, yep, and I really, really love this line right here. I just really, really wish that they could still continue it. But, like, it's it's okay, though. Just, just ignore me about that. But, but yeah. So I really hope that you guys enjoy my review on these really, really cool Pass of the West Burger King Kids Meal toys. I really, really love them all. As I said before, my favorites are this Spongebuck right here with the cool coat. The Spongebuck with the hat. And the Spongebuck with the chef outfit on. And the Sandy 
I really love Sandy. She's my favorite one as well. Okay. So, yep, I hope you guys enjoy my review of these cool SpongeBob Pest of the West toys. So, yep, goodbye, everybody. Have a great day, and peace out. Yeehaw! Give me a shot of milk. <laughs> Alright, goodbye!